uh, welcome everyone to this new webinar. Um, I hope that everyone is just doing well. And uh, actually, I'm super excited today just to talk about the back doors, you know. Um, I actually know, like last couple of months, a lot of people just ask about it, you know. Uh, what is the back door? How we can create a back door and how we can exploit it? And I found that topic really, really super interesting. Like a lot of people just pushed me to talk about it. Like, hey, we have to create a backdoor one day. And uh, I was like, yeah, let's create a webinar about it and talk about this interesting topic. Um, basically, you know, like I'm super happy to be here again in new webinar. I hope that we're going to enjoy. Actually, it's going to be like we're going to talk and we're going to practice too, ethically, of course. Um, and actually, we're going to discover a lot of things. So, guys, don't hesitate. If you have any questions, you know, like if you have any questions about the back doors or whatever, even when we are just making the presentation, don't hesitate, okay? I'm, I'm seeing your messages, and I'm trying to make things clear as much as possible, okay? So, let's get started. So, everyone ready, right? Um, so, I, I just need, guys, some signs. I need a sign that confirms that my voice is clear for you, and you can see the presentation. Is everything clear right now? Amazing. Do it. Okay, that's awesome. Amazing. That's cool. So yeah, let's just uh, check our plan. So uh, okay, let's just don't jump here. And yeah, let's just uh, try to tell you what about it. So anyway, so guys, maybe um, some guys here in secrecy, they know me who I am. Um, I'm Muhammad Hamdi. I'm a cybersecurity engineer. I'm an IT uh, administrator, cybersecurity professional. Also, I'm an instructor uh, in university. So I'm doing some workshops and some training about cybersecurity. What is like this kind of, all those kind of stuff. Um, also, I'm certified some kind of, you know, certification about the IT and say, cybersecurity and, you know, providing some kind of training. Um, so talking about our planning today, you know, like our plan is gonna be kind of so rich, okay? So uh, we're going to talk and we're going to start like things basically, okay? I'm talking as someone like who didn't know anything about, you know, what is the backdoor? Like, you know, I get a lot of questions sometimes, especially from the people who um, basically doesn't have that kind of concept, you know, like commercial people or maybe like old people, you know, they ask me that question. They're going to be like, hey. Uh, I heard that my computer exploited by the backdoor. What is a backdoor? I want to understand. So yeah, we're going to talk about what is a backdoor um, and, and you know, we're going to define it well. And um, to be honest, you know, there is a lot of kind of backdoors. And guys, maybe th this one going to shock you a lot of it. Um, actually, not all the backdoors are bad, you know. Not all of them are created for bad reasons. Some of them created for good reasons, but it turned out that became used for a bad reasons, you know? So we're gonna just clarify that when we talk about, you know, the types of the backdoors. Also, we gonna talk like from where does backdoor come from? <laughs> you know, I mean, like, uh, to be honest, it, it can come from different places, but we gonna talk specifically, you know, the most famous place where it come, you know, like from where you got that backdoor that hacking your system and that controlling you. Okay, and uh, absolutely, if you know the danger, you'd want to know how you can prevent it and how you can protect yourself, right? So we're going to talk about, you know, kind of prevention. What do you have to do if your computer just got hacked? And what do you have to do if you notice that com your computer one day, like not working with the correct way? So you can actually like discover that backdoor inside your system. And yes, we're going to create a backdoor. And we're going to enjoy with it. Uh, to be honest, um, I'm, I'm just going to be limited with a little bit of disclaimer here. You know, guys, this webinar is for educational purpose. And, um, you know, the information provided here is for good reasons, just to teach you about the factors, how you can exploit a system, and how you can protect yourself. Okay. So we're going to make kind of like a practical case. Okay. We're going to create a backdoor with the fastest way ever. Okay. And we're gonna send it to a victim, and we're gonna notice how that backdoor gonna just collaborate with the attacker machine, and we can do a lot of crazy stuff. Okay, so yeah, uh, I hope that the plan is clear for you. Any question, guys, about that? That's good. 
Okay, amazing. I see a lot of amazing people here excited, and <laughs> let's just do it, okay? So if you have any question about the plan, just let me know to clarify some things for you. And yeah, let's just do it. Okay, guys? So let's do this stuff. So actually, um, let's start talking about vectors. You know, what is vector? I mean, there is a lot of people basically, um, they don't know what is it. And I'm gonna talk also about the people that making confusion. Okay, uh, between the backdoor and the Trojan. Okay, there is a huge difference. Okay, so I can see like a backdoor. This is the simple definition. Okay, is a method of bypassing normal authentication. If someone who wants to access your system, he doesn't have any kind of your credential, but he want to bypass it. He want to just hack you. Okay, so um, and I can see like a, it can be. And this is another one, guys. This is another information. A backdoor is not only made for a computer to hack a computer only, okay? It can hack a product, like an application, and it can even hack an embedded device. It means it can hack a router, it can hack a switch, it can, I don't know, like it even can hack, um, you know, those kind of IoT, you know, devices, right? So, uh, because maybe some people, you know, they are already rel relates, you know, the backdoor is only for computers, okay? Okay, I can just confirm that a backdoor, most of it, we want to create a backdoor to exploit a computer of someone, okay? But actually, we're going to create a backdoor to hack someone for, for his IoT device, okay? Like, I don't know, like a router or whatever, okay? Um, and yeah, and backdoors can be installed by the system manufacturer, hacker, or malware, and are typically used to gain unauthorized access to a system. That's right. It just, I can say, guys, th this is it. You know, you have to understand this. I mean, creating backdoors, I confirm, most of it, most of it is for bad acts, okay? But actually, like, when, when, when people just, you know, start to think about creating backdoor, it was going for a good concept. Like it was going for controlling someone's system, okay? It's not for making a bad act, but when things turn out to hackers, they change the game, right? They change why we use a backdoor and we're gonna discover that, okay? So, uh, and yeah, this one. The question, is it bad? I mean, when it's gonna exploit it, when you're gonna use a backdoor for bad reasons, when your system gonna be hacked, it's super bad, man, it's super bad. I mean, because, you know, basically when we talk about hacking, okay? And and when we say that, okay, my system is got hacked, like by an attack, like, I don't know, brute force, whatever, may, maybe you're gonna lose in that attack. You're gonna lose some of your system, like, the control of your system, like you're gonna use some of your files. Um, I don't know. Like you're gonna you're gonna lose, you know, some of of your important informations. But with the backdoors, I mean, here the loss gonna be so huge, so huge. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna maybe, uh, you know, like the attacker who gonna just gain uh, the access to your system through a backdoor. He's not he's not actually gonna gonna hack you and and take some information and go, you know? He can even maintain the access. And this is like, you know, more dangerous than making a hack only, okay? Because with a backdoor, we can, we, can, we can maintain the access. Here, just imagine every day you are opening your computer and the hacker gonna be like, oh, it's an amazing morning. He opened his computer again and they're gonna see what we have today, right? So, so hackers here, they are not gonna only hack, they even maintain the access. And this is what makes the backdoor so bad, you know? It just like someone put something on your computer and he have all the access and all the remote control to your computer without knowing. And the problem here, he can control your computer, I don't know, even for months, for years, you don't know. Like, as much as you don't know that you have a backdoor inside your system. And this is what makes the backdoor so bad.